You do not need to hear it from me that we live in a very special place, but Chattanooga and Hamilton County has a great way of taking care of our neighbors, and that's going to be evident this morning. This is Dr. Stephen Miller, who's with the Hamilton County Health Department, and he is here talking about something that many of you might not realize that we've had in our community for 20 plus years, and that's a health center specifically designated for the homeless in our area. So that, good to see you. That, that's correct. For over 20 years, we've been taking care of the needs of the unhoused in our area and other communities that happen to come to us. You very quickly before we got on air pointed out to me and reminded me that to be homeless, and I'll use that word, um, is not necessarily meaning that you are on the street. There are people who now, as you call it, couch surfing. Right, it's a wide definition, uh, though you, you, you tend to historically think that it's someone that's living on the streets. Many times it can be a family that's in transit. It can be a separated uh, spouse that just has to stay with a parent for a few months till they get back on their feet. We take care of the needs of any of these individuals. So let's kind of talk about how it works. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, you cover everything, primary care, mental health, dental you have we a do. pharmacy on site we do we so do. Do, is there a, a network of local doctors who kind of volunteer their time to come with you or all these health care uh, health department employees we do uh, through the medical society through the Erlanger charity care through other uh, partners such as SIMPA we're able to provide an amazing amount of care to these individuals that otherwise would not be able to have their needs met so anything from treating their hepatitis uh, to uh, even getting a gallbladder removed. So it's amazing the things we can do for these folks that unfortunately are lacking when, in insurance and you know in funds. When you look at kind of the ripple effect of how this outreach affects everybody, um, by having the ability for them to come to you and get hopefully an early start sure. in the care that they need, does that then offset the need for these people to go to the emergency room and that type of thing to get care that could be provided for them with you? That's a great question and that's one of our goals is to try to uh, provide a bridge to try to prevent uh, individuals from uh, necessarily flooding the emergency rooms by meeting their needs at our clinic and we don't just provide medical care we also provide case management we help these individuals get the IDs they need to be able to go back to work mm -hmm. uh, we have work with partners to help find employment for these individuals as well as housing 20 plus years, uh, 20 plus years. you've probably seen a lot of familiar faces come through I'm guessing you've seen times where somebody's been with you for quite a while sure. and then they say I'm not gonna need you anymore it's true. We've even had some of them over the years come back and work with us as employees or they work with other neighboring organizations. They develop a heart for taking care of what they've had to deal with themselves. Mm -hmm. It's You can't look at a person and know right off the hand if they are struggling or not. You no. use the word unhoused. Uh, people are proud. They should be, and there are a lot of folks who are having to live in their car, but they get up and go to work every day. They do. You would be uh, surprised that even at our homeless shelters, as much as a third of those individuals get up early in the morning and go to their jobs. So they, they get a wake-up call around 4 o'clock and go to local factories and facilities around the area and work. Are we in any way unique? And I'm sure a lot of cities and areas have places like this, mm -hmm. but for us to have had one for so long, is that a well, bit unusual? You know, a, a, an actual clinic dedicated to homeless health care is a unique uh, thing. We, there's one other, in, I believe, in the state of Tennessee, but it's not something you'll see in most metro areas. So uh, we're very proud of that. Are they aware? Are, is the area that can benefit, the community that can benefit from this, are they aware that you're here? Uh, we, uh, they are, uh, for the most part, a lot of times they can be at different areas of the counties and different camps, if you will. So we do have an outreach team that goes out, uh, tries to get them into our case management, tries to get them bridged to permanent housing mm -hmm. if they so desire. And then sometimes they might have just different uh, skin infections and uh, colds and things like that. We bring them to our clinic and then take them back to where they're at to I do uh, treat let, those. I do want to let people know you were sharing with me that sometimes on the pharmacy side, mm -hmm. uh, everyone knows how expensive medications sure. can be so you're not taking county dollars I mean you're you're trying to network with organizations you know that can help offset those costs is right. that fair uh, to point the out? The coverage of our pharmacy for the most part is usually uh, from a federal uh, funding standpoint 
and then uh, even the medications that are just cost prohibitive that would, would eat up a lot of our budget. A lot of times we are able to lean heavily on the drug manufacturers themselves or other uh, partners to help subsidize and pay for those as I well. I wanted to give you a chance to make that point because I think sure. that's something that people would want to hear. But if, um, if somebody knows a person mm -hmm. uh, that might be in need of these services, could they just reach out to the health department? Where is the clinic? Uh, the clinic is over on 11th Street. And we also have another primary clinic at the top of the county to meet the needs of that area, our Birchwood uh, Clinic as well, primary care there. So, And they can just show up? There's no need to make an appointment ahead of time? We prefer that you make an appointment, okay. uh, but we will take walk-ins. And then for the, our homeless clinic, we generally just walk in. It, there's no appointments necessary for that clinic. Well, here is the phone number then to the health department. I mean, they do so much here in our community. Mm -hmm. I learn about it every time they come our way, 209-8000. You also can go to their website, health.hamiltontn.org. Uh, take advantage of this service if you or someone you know could benefit from it. Excellent. Thanks, Dr. Miller. Thank you.